everyone. Nadine Robinson says, can you do four types of grannies? Yes, I can. I have to get a little creative, though, to try and fulfill this request. Okay, everyone, the first kind is the forgetful granny in the dot meet. She forgets a lot of things, and sometimes her daughter doesn't want her to watch her granddaughters because she's afraid that she'll lose them or forget something that's really important. Oh, they have something to do. OMG, who baby this? Um, little girl, who are you? Why are you in my stroller? Am I a mom? I can't be. I'm like a hundred years old. Hmm. Think, Gertrude, think. Oh, this is my granddaughter. Goo goo gaga. She can't talk. Hmm. But I don't have another dog or cat or granddaughter. <gasps> oh, yeah. Where's she at, though? I guess I do have another granddaughter somewhere. I'm just not sure. Granddaughter? Um, hmm. Maybe I need to stop babysitting since I keep losing them. Let me call her. Oh. I don't know her number. Sad face. I forgot it. I finally found it! My granddaughter's house! Granny, where were you? I was waiting! I am sorry, dear. I am like... A hundred years old! My memory... Isn't the same as before. I'm afraid to ask your mom for help, even though she's my daughter. Because uh, she might not trust me to babysit you guys if I tell her. It's okay, Granny. She'll she'll just send extra help. We will always love you no matter what. And even if you don't always remember us, we'll never forget you. You're the best granddaughter ever. Other than this yellow jelly bean kid in the stroller, who I guess is also my granddaughter. She still speaks Google Gaga language, so she doesn't understand anyway. Next up, we have the cooking granny. She was a chef growing up, and so now she has granddaughters and grandsons. She loves cooking for them and making all kinds of amazing recipes, even though those recipes might not always be the most healthy. My granddaughter will be here soon. I love, love, love cooking for her and making her all the bestest cakes and cookies and pies. I hope she didn't get diabetes. I should try and feed her more veggies. Let's go pick up some veggies for her to try and cook her some healthy fruits and vegetables. Hey, dear. Hey, Grandma. Oh my lord, you still have the sweets that I cooked for you last time. Yeah, you're the best, Grandma. Oh, thank you, dear, but health is important too. So I have to start using my skills as a chef to make healthy things for you. Ew, Grandma, I'd rather die than eat vegetables. Well, you will. If you don't eat some veggies, child, you'll die if you don't. Granny knows best. Grandma, I won't die if I don't eat vegetables. Apples, yum. Mmm, delicious. Cheese is very healthy. Yo, Grandma, cheese gives me grass. It gives me gas. I'm not a rat. Hush, child. Be quiet. Healthy sandwich. Healthy fruit. Healthy water. Okay. Let's go make you some healthy foods. Grandma, you're the best chef ever, even if I hate vegetables. Even if you plan on making disgusting veggies for me now. They are 
that's disgusting. Cook stuff, very healthy stuff, in a grandmotherly fashion. Okay, here, dear. I made my first healthy recipe for you. Taste it. <laughs> I call it baked apple no pie. <laughs> wow, Grandma, this is amazing. Thank you, dear. Granny knows best. Make sure you tell your mom that I fed you an apple today. Hot that candy. Next, we have the cool Granny. She's really young at heart. She loves to skateboard and do tons of fun activities with her granddaughter. It's like she has the heart of a 20 year old even though she's 58 years old. Hey, hey, new day. Oh man, my back isn't what it used to be, but I still got the moves. Granny still has the moves. Oh, text message on my phone. I know how to use that. It's my granddaughter. Hi, granddaughter. Okay, I'll see you. Wow. She wants me to go with her to a concert. She is the best. I remember from my days before we even had TVs. Anyway, let's skate on over and pick her up. Skateboard. Wow, she's so cool. Thank you. Here, yeah, I came to get you to prepare for the concert. I can take you around on it. Of course, Grandma. Wow, she's so cool. How many people's grandmas ride skateboards, hoverboards, and won't adopt me? Not very many. Oh, I'm sick. I need to go to the hospital. Here, dear. Let's play some tunes while I wait for you to get healed. Time for the concert. Let's go. Next, we have the guardian angel granny. She passed on a while back, but she watches out for her granddaughter as an angel looking over her and making sure that she's safe and keeping her out of trouble when she least expects it. That's my granddaughter up there. I follow her everywhere because I am her guardian angel. She can't see me unless I want her to. I am her guardian angel grandma. She seems so sad. Let me get closer to see why. I'll use my angel wings to fly over. <sighs> it's been some months since I lost my grandma. But I always feel like she's watching over me. I've been really sad lately. And I just wish I could talk to her sometimes. Oops! Ah! I wasn't paying attention! And I fell into the water! I can't swim. No, help, someone help me. <gasps> hmm? Oh my goodness, am I flying? What just happened? How did I get out of the water? Whoa, it's me. Hmm? I hear you, but I can't see you. It's me, grandma. Grandma? Why are you so ashy looking? Go! 
Because I am an angel, hush, and be grateful. When I passed on, all the color drained from my body, so now I'm kind of ghostly. Otherwise, you would be right next to me in Angel Land if I hadn't saved you. Yeah, that's true, Grandma, that's true. Thank you for saving me, Gran. Wow, you're an angel. I know I am, dear. I am your angel, your guardian angel. And I will always try and watch over you, even when you don't see me. Love. Thanks, Grant. Have fun at school, Charlotte. Goodbye. Bye, Granny. I hope I get to see you again.